What's up, everybody? Welcome to Memphis, Tennessee. They finally opened this bridge back up. It's been so hard to do these Memphis videos, driving into town. What an exciting city. I'm Jose. And I'm Katie. And we are about to drive into Memphis, Tennessee. Super excited to be here, especially getting a view from over here. That thing is so cold. Yeah. How hard you can drive a boat in it. Yes, welcome to Tennessee. What an exciting place to be. The home of Elvis Presley, Graceland. You can take the roof off if you want. And also, this is where Justin Timberlake comes from. Who the crap cares about Justin Timberlake? Anybody who's a fan of NSYNC. Am I going in now, north or south? South. Okay. Um, if there's no cars coming. There's no cars yeah, coming. Ah, what are you doing? Getting off. <laughs> Driving like you've lost your mind there. I have. <laughs> so, what an exciting place to be. Memphis, where do you even start? Um, from the blues all the way to hip-hop, this city has an incredible influence. Uh, when you get a chance to go left, you can tell me. Just an incredible influence on hip-hop. Uh, on the blues. World music. I mean, Elvis Presley is basically a staple of American music in general. Um, when you ask people in other countries, you know, what was the greatest music uh, or era of music, American music, people just think the 50s. Um, so we're in a place that has an incredible musical influence, not just since the 50s, but today as well. Um, you know, a city known for music, a city known for the civil rights movement. There's so much going on in the city, historically and culturally, that it's definitely a mecca of American culture. However, uh, the reality of life in the city for the people that live here um, is now without its challenges, um, especially over the last few years. Um, you know, when you look back at the times of Elvis, um, you know, white disc jockeys wouldn't touch African-American music vice versa black djs wouldn't touch um, uh, white music uh elvis presley comes on the scene and completely changes that um really uh, monumental things have happened here in music and there's eighty thousand hispanics living in the memphis area uh, a lot of colombians and central americans guatemalans mexicans are moving to memphis uh, looking for affordability so there's a growing hispanic population here uh, Katie, what do you got? What do you got in Memphis? There's the Bass Pro Shop here. Justin Timberlake is from here. Who the crap cares about Justin Timberlake? You guys should take a left here if you want to. A right. Take a right here if you want to. I'm gonna light turn screen. There's like there's no way behind you. Oh, there, go, go, yeah, go, go. there is a pedestrian. Don't worry about pedestrians. <laughs> They'll be all right. I think he can. <laughs> he felt offended by me. Well, these people gonna run me over. He's like, oh no, 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 you can't have this lady driving. <laughs> but Memphis um, has definitely had its challenges despite all of its um, uh, substance and culture. It's been a tough ride for Memphis, man. Um, you know, civil rights movement, Martin Luther King was unfortunately lost here in Memphis. Um, among many things, you know, good and bad have happened here. Um, but today, the story, you know, uh, not to discredit the city for all of its achievements as far as culture and contributions to the world, but it's been a, a rough ride for Memphis, man. It really has. They're also known for their barbecue. Um, I mean, we're not going to do barbecue on this trip. Um, we actually did barbecue in Arkansas, not far from here. And it was some of the best barbecue we have ever had. We've had a lot of barbecue, but no barbecue for us today. Uh, we're gonna try to go with something healthier. Um, there's also a Colombian restaurant. There's several, I think, Colombian restaurants here on the far northeast side of town. Um, 
What are some other talents from the city? Unfortunately, there's been a little rally lately with the situation of Young Dolph. He was an aspiring, not aspiring, he was a made rapper who had a lot of life left in him. A person who was known more even than his music was known for giving back to his community, from helping people, um, you know, giving back to the neighborhood, uh, community events. Um, loved by everybody that he ran into and did as much as he could for everybody was lost here in Memphis um, on airways just a little bit not far from here um, you know he uh, apparently he had no security on him he was just doing a he was at a local um, he was at Makita's a, a cookie shop local business he supported and no security by himself I mean he's just a normal person even though despite his fame and all that and that really changed Memphis, I think, a lot because we came into Memphis right after that happened and there was literally nobody on the streets. It was like a ghost town. And it's hard to believe that just a, a fun place, you know, a city known for music and so much that it literally becomes a ghost town due to, um, to violence and crime and, 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 and pretty much straight up conflicts between groups within the city. It's kind of sad that despite having so much potential and so much talent and influence culturally on the world that there's still those challenges to be to be met here in, in the city. Um, I wanna turn the AC on, it is, what, 191 degrees. We'll just get a little bit of AC for a few seconds and we'll be forever just to cool down our devices. for a second kind of keep the phones cool take a left here if you could a left yeah okay so what are some other talents of the city um in the 2000s uh 36 mafia was a group that came out of here that was very influential in music just a different, again, different sound like anything else you've ever heard. Um, I want to go south towards Graceland, but we're facing the sun. It means our device is getting super hot. I think we might have to go north, even though we're, initially I wanted to go south on us. But I think with the sun facing us, we're definitely going to have to start considering going, uh, going north instead, just so that we're not facing the sun. It was crazy to come to Memphis and just see the city, you know, as a ghost town practically right after that event. And uh, I think last time we were here, the road was closed, so we couldn't come in through 40. I went through 55, and just it looks so much better coming in through 40. It really does. Um, it just looks that much more cool coming in through 40. So last time we were here, we did a video in a neighborhood that is notorious called Orange Mound. The video did really well, but a lot of people in Memphis were telling me that's not really the worst neighborhood. They said the worst area is a place called Frazier on the north side. So I think we're going to run up there. You want to run up to Frazier, Katie? Sure you do. We're going to go to Frazier, which is going to be six, 13 minutes. Um, in 400 feet, turn right onto Union Avenue. Okay. Right. Let's do what it says. We're running to Frazier. Right Union Avenue. The last time we were here in Memphis, uh, you know, we 
did not see the worst part of town. We saw Orange Mound, which historically was a bad neighborhood, but it seems like nowadays it's Fraser is really the worst neighborhood. And I think it's like its own city, it's just north of Memphis. I don't know if it's within Memphis city limits, but regardless, that's where we're heading now. Um, and you will hear the air conditioner, guys. It kind of sounds bad in the background, I know. But to record a 91 degree weather in the summer, it's just part of the package. You know you can go with it from the time. Okay, just didn't know if you could turn right or right. Yeah, you see. definitely can. Okay. In a quarter mile, turn left onto US 51 North. Even if you North. can't, you ain't got all day. <laughs> Memphis, Tennessee. Any other famous people from Memphis? Let's look it up. I know Press Elvis Presley, of course. He was he had his home here, but he was born in Tupelo, Mississippi, mm -hmm. which isn't too far from here. No. So the city has. Turn left uh, on the US 51 North. That's it right there. Yeah, but it's another thing. Okay. And 51 South, if we go the other way, we can run up into Graceland, but... Continue on US 51 North drive into the sun. Miles. If you're driving the sun, this phone's not going to last five minutes before it freezes on us. A beautiful day to record, huh? You just have to stop, right? Because it's blinking. Yeah, it's blinking. It's going to stop the noise coming. <laughs> So Katie driving through Frazier. Just a great idea right there. Yeah. <laughs> Just mind your own business and you'll be alright. Yeah. You don't want to do stuff like recording people. That's one way to get people to get angry. I just look lost. <laughs> yeah. Easy target. Yeah. Especially how to say tags. Yeah. Alright. Memphis. We got a beautiful day to record. I think the last time we were here was raining, right? Chicks Chickasaw Trail. Notable people from Memphis. Alright, so with notable people, there's a lot. John Ace. It's alphabetical, there's that many. Okay. Kathy Banks, Bobby the Blues Band, Ben Grubb, let me if somebody I know. Hmm. Big Star, the rock band. Black Youngster. Oh no. Who is like an online clown, basically. And he's hilarious. Alabama Avenue. Got that Bama right there. <laughs> Black Youngster is uh, another artist from here. Um, he 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 got famous for kind of like just like he would do some weird stuff. Like he had a stack of money. He was rocking like a baby. He's an interesting character. Um, okay, Block Boy JB, who uh, I think his one of his biggest songs is called uh, Mercedes. Rover, Rover 2, so that's another artist that's recently been charting. Um, Joe Brown. Is that Judge Joe Brown? Maybe. Uh -huh. Is it Judge Joe Brown? I don't know. It just says Joe Brown. <laughs> Alex Shoten. Uh, Tyrone Calico of the Tennessee Titans. NLE Shoppa, I don't know who the crap that is. Some type of rapper. Baron Collier. But wait, isn't Baron Collier with the county we live in Florida is named after? Yeah, so check this out. Baron Collier. In fact, there's two schools in Naples, Florida, Gulf Coast and Baron Collier in Naples High School. 
So one of the high schools in, in Naples, where I'm from, is called Baron Collier. He's actually from Memphis. So, I mean, I, I, I used to live in Collier County, Florida. So this guy was rich, and he uh, bought a bunch of land down in Florida and developed it and sold it and parceled it. And the Colliers, they're like the biggest name down there in Florida. I had no idea that they had ties to Memphis. So that's interesting. That's a little connection between Memphis and where we're from. This phone is hot, hot, hot. from Memphis, 8-Ball and MJG, 8-Ball, how can I not say this, M-Ball and 8, 8-Ball and MJG, correct, it's a musical group, it's a rap group, um, Young Dolph, Drummer Boy, Donald Duck, Don, musician, rock and roll, and Fraser, yes, mm -hmm. Starting to look good yet? A little bit. All right, so now we're. Ooh, look at that chicken. That looks pretty cool. I think we're in the hood, y'all. Yeah. Where are we at? We're in North Memphis. <laughs> Uptown. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're we're kind of more in the inner city areas now. Mm -hmm. That's as you can remember, you got out of state tags. Yeah. No limit towing. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You know the the no limit. Um, that's masterpiece stuff. Maybe you're gonna have to drive faster. You're getting yeah. passed by freaking trucks on and stuff. I know. Ready to roll business. No limit towing. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it's related to the no limit soldiers because they had businesses all over. They got all types of stuff. But you know, masterpiece. He's not just a singer or whatever. He's got all types of businesses. Works with lawyers, community mm -hmm. activists. He does a lot more than just. Uh, yeah. Obviously, it starts to kind of look more inner city around here. Just kind of more run down, more inner city. Um, you start to see kind of, you know, inner city stuff around here. Kind of not in downtown anymore. Um, definitely looks stuff. Now, I've never done videos on this side of Memphis. I've seen other parts of Memphis. This is my first time seeing this side of Memphis. Um, looks rough, for sure. I mean, Memphis has historically been one of the top three most dangerous cities in the country. Up there with Detroit, um, pretty much Detroit. Let him pass you, Katie. Yeah. Don't parallel me. He's not supposed to that bad. Let him pass you. Okay. That car store stop blocking traffic. Mm -hmm. I was thinking it was gonna make somebody angry out here. Mm -hmm. um, kind of looks run down. It reminds me of Louisville because you got the electrical post right by the side of the road. Super dangerous. It's just a really uh, inconsiderate. Watch all that garbage, yeah. potholes and stuff. Watch the potholes. Mm -hmm. Kind of dangerous just to have that there. So close to the road. Look at how much litter. Unbelievable. That's wild. That's a lot of litter. So either pass them or leave them behind. You're gonna get. You're gonna find potholes that are gonna destroy your car. You're not gonna have nowhere to go if you're pedaling the freaking truck, man. Either, either pass him or let him go ahead. You're gonna hit a pothole. Let's go look a piece of plywood, bro. Either pass him or board. stop. Listen, it doesn't matter. Either pass him or par don't parallel the car, bro. I'm just to drive. You're not driving. You're gonna get us hurt, bro. There's giant potholes. Got a listening aid problem or something. Right? Don't parallel freaking heavy equipment, bro. There's an opera singer, Marjorie Finley. Marjorie. That's what I said. You 
said Marjorie. Yeah, Marjorie. You know who it is? No, I know the name Marjorie. Marjorie. Like, you know, like you spread on your bread. You ever spread margarine on your bread? Margarine. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, when I make money, I make a large margarine, you know what I mean? Of money. Why are you going 20 miles an hour? Because it's 35 around It doesn't around matter, here. just drive. Okay. Even the car's like telling you you can't drive. The car's like, beep, beep, beep. That's what I like about this car, you know? Like, you ever have a car that doesn't talk to the car? When a car says you don't know how to drive, it's a great thing because it's now it's not just you versus the other person. Now the car picked the side. The car started learning how to get in the lane. <laughs> That's what I like about this car. It helps me win arguments, you know? Like, the car, even the car was like, beep, beep, beep. Like, hey, what are you doing? Nothing like having the car take your side and not win arguments. That's good stuff right there. Thank you, uh, Car, for helping me win this argument. If you just listen to me the first time, you won't have to argue with me. I don't know if you knew that. Yes, the car's like, learn how to drive. <laughs> I love this car. It's like, learn how to drive, women. All right, guys, so we're going to enter um, the area known to be the worst in all of Memphis. Um, so... This is supposed to be the, a really, really bad area in Memphis, so let's see what's going on out here. Frazier. Ah! Love these old cars right here. A bunch of old cars, that's pretty cool. Lots of litter, unbelievable. It's worse than Montgomery with the litter. An entire mattress? Cops right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of dumping and littering out here. It's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that, like entire couches and stuff yeah. outside the road. It looks pretty bad. Mm -hmm. This looks run down, it's like homeless people sleeping over there. Yeah. Yeah, this definitely looks run down and bad. Yeah. But last time we were here, the, the locals told us to check out Frazier, uh, referring to what's the worst neighborhood in Memphis. So when you get to Frazier, up ahead, take a right. Okay. This definitely looks rough, man. That building like busted the windows out and everything. And Paula Motors. parts of Memphis. shade too it's like yeah it's kind of like like montgomery in that like it has beautiful trees it's kind of winding roads like this was not meant to be a bad neighborhood when they built it like this was at some point a yeah. beautiful neighborhood you got these trees you got you got these winding roads like when they built this this was a nice place when they built it it just went to crap over time kind of like montgomery they got exactly the same situation as montgomery on their roads that Clearly, at some point, we're beautiful. I mean, look, you got, you know, 
you got shade, you got beautiful trees, winding roads, suburban looking houses, but if you start paying attention, there's litter everywhere, the houses, metal bars in the windows. This is definitely a neighborhood that at one point was beautiful. And I guess just over time, things kind of went the wrong way. Which goes to show that a neighborhood that's good today can be pretty bad tomorrow. When you have cars behind you, you're gonna have to drive faster. <laughs> what the crap was that? <laughs> well, they got entire tires by the side of the road. She's like, oh, nice. That's beautiful. I met those trees. <laughs> it was just but you can't be zoned time. out. You need to wake up, bro. Yeah. Wake up. You're like totally zoned out. You're like totally zoned out, but you need to wake up. This is kind of like a Millbrook. You know, like this used to be a suburban place. Yeah. And then it just went to crap. Mm -hmm. This is like a Millbrook. Mm -hmm. It was a suburban place and over time it just went to crap. Wait, I'll go. Come, come to my side. Okay. Get on, come to my side. 